Hello and welcome back. Uh, in my last video I showed you how to make a basic contour map with the grid system and today I'll be showing you how to make a more advanced contour map uh, with uh, a surrounding grid. And when I mean by a surrounding, a surrounding grid I mean we will assume we know the surrounding numbers for the actual contour map. So I'm just going to start typing here. And I think what we'll do, we'll do a 10 by 10. We'll make it a little bit more interesting. That's five, ten, perfect. Four, five, one more. <clears throat> And once again, these numbers really don't matter. Uh, these are these could be anything you want. They could be realistic. They could be made up. Oops. This is just to show you how to make a little bit more of an advanced uh, contour map. Perfect. Oh. I'll just do some quick formatting here. Those are all centered. Center those. Center. Okay. Now, this is the important part. Go to File, Options, then you're going to go to Formulas, and you'll notice right here under Calculation Options, we are going to select Manual and we are going to enable iterative calculations and I'll set this at 1 and I will show you the difference between uh, 1 and 100 uh, for this max iteration I'll show you the significance of that and then hit OK to apply and I think what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll paste it down here That way, I'll be able to show you the difference between uh, 1 and 100. But uh, for this top one, we'll go with 1. So, in any cell, it doesn't matter which one, type in IC. And then in any other cell, just type in a random number. We'll go with 4. Keep things simple. All right. Now, here is the equation you need to enter. It is equals... IF parenthesis money a money two is equal to I see make sure that's in quotes comma money a money three comma parenthesis now the equation basically means is we're going to add let's say we were going to pick this cell right here follow my cursor we're going to add the cell above it below it to the left and to the right of it and divide by four so, we'll go with the cell, which is C3 plus B4 plus C5 plus D4, and parenthesis, divide by 4, and total parenthesis, and hit enter. Now you'll notice that this number is not uh, the sum of 0 plus 0 plus 100 plus 105 over 4 you'll notice that this number is the same as cell A3. Uh, the reason for this is because of the equation. You're saying if cell A2 is equal to IC, cell A3 will be displayed. That's all this means. But if cell A2 doesn't have that IC, this cell will represent this part of the equation right here. Oops. There we go. There we go. Uh, the significance of this, to start out with just a, uh, this base number, 
is so that when we copy and paste this formula, it doesn't start doing the iterative calculation as we're uh, copy and pasting through this. You want all the numbers to start out at either a baseline number or we could just say zero. And I do not know why that did not change. There we go. So let's copy and paste copy and paste that and there we go okay perfect now uh, to have the equation run we're going to delete IC hit enter no you notice they haven't changed yet uh, what you need to do is either save your Excel sheet or press F9 if you have the 2013 version is what I think uh, triggers that. Uh, we'll name it this one. Yes. Now you'll notice all the numbers changed right after I saved it. They, they are no longer equal to zero. But you will also notice that every time I click save the number slowly increases. This is because the iterative calculation max is set at one right now. What that means it's only going to do one calculation every time you save. And I'll just save this a bunch to try to get it to its max numbers. Almost there. This is taking a while. And after a while, you will notice that the change completely stops. So watch this number, this number, and this number. They're exactly the same every time I save now. So, uh, now I'll show you the difference between that and what happens when this is set to 100. So, copy that formula again. Oh, I better make sure my IC is in here. That way you can start over from scratch. Sometimes. There we go. Okay, now we'll hit save. Boom. They're all set back to zero. Perfect. Okay, now watch what happens in this one. When I hit, remember before this number here at the end of all that saving was 107.73, I believe. Watch this. One seven point seven five. All this did was change the count from one to one hundred. So instead of pressing save a uh, one time, one once at a time for a hundred times, you only have to press it once for a hundred calculations, and that just speeds up the process. That's only that's the only difference. All right, now for the contour part, let's just go ahead and highlight that again. Go to Insert, Spider tab, and there's your contour map. Uh, you'll notice everything is right in between that 100 to 150 mark, which is actually kind of annoying. It's kind of hard to see any detail. I don't even know why it's showing 0 to 50. Huh. All right, here's what we'll do. Let's enter in some random numbers. I'll highlight the ones I do. Let's make it interesting. Let's go 300. Let's go 250. Let's go 400 over here. And yeah, we'll go 50 there. All right, now. I'll save again and that changed all those numbers around perfect and you'll notice every time I save none of these numbers will change because they no longer have this equation in them let's go ahead and map this now there we go that looks more realistic
much better. Go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Now a lot of people have asked me in the past, you know, how, how do we get more resolution so you don't get these boxes? The only, the only thing I can really tell you is the more, uh, the more boxes you fill in with values, the smaller these will get. Because I've only got 100 square boxes right here filled with numbers. Series, you know, it's going to go one by one is one box. So the more resolution you want, the more numbers you're going to have to type in over here. Another uh, cool thing about this formula is, you know, if, if you're going to plot some land, let's say, that equation basically just averages out the surrounding boxes. So for this value, the 300, uh, be this, this one right here, I want to say. Yep. Uh, these boxes will just be the average of this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. It just makes a more gradual slope as all this equation does. It's more realistic than uh, doing increments like plus 5 or minus 5 like I did in my last video. But that is how you make a more advanced contour map. And I think in my next video I will try and see if I can figure out a way to uh, do a realistic subsurface uh, three, uh, 3D plot because these are pretty cool. You can actually do some interesting things with these. But until next time, thank you for watching. Have a good day.